Hey, one common issue I see a lot of golfers struggling with is, and you, you might have seen this, you might do this yourself, is they don't let their left arm fold correctly. And so they end up either keeping it straight for too long or chicken winging, and it's really affecting your distance and accuracy. You'll tend to slice it more, you'll tend to hit it much shorter. So right after this, let's learn using a couple of really neat, easy drills and exercises how to correctly fold this left elbow so you can start hitting longer and straighter quick. Stay tuned. So I think watching it from the face on angle is the best to watch how this elbow needs to fold and kind of learn for yourself. Of course, a, a properly folding left elbow is going to lead to square club face and more speed. This is really, really important. Well, let's describe first the actions that are needed anatomically. You can break this down. Anytime you can break it down into these simple actions, you can teach a four-year-old how to do this. So let's start here where you might be with your left-handed address. Uh, thumb up in the air like this. Now in order to get the elbow to fold on the way through, of course, you probably will have turned this 90 degrees on your way back. And so we've got to turn the thumb 180 degrees with assistance with this upper bar arm bone as well. So it needs to come out here, 180 degrees over. So you can simply practice this motion to just at home or anywhere just to make yourself more aware of the motion going to here going to here. It's like hitchhiking one way and then hitchhiking the other way. So in addition to that, we're going to use the hinge joint of the elbow. We're going to flex the elbow, make it bend at the same time. So it'd be here, if I'm doing them separately, here and here. So I'm going to fold that. As you go into your follow through, your left elbow should be approaching 90 degrees by the time you get halfway through your exit. So it's going to start folding about 30 inches past the ball where it'll still be straight for the last instant. Then it gradually starts to fold and bend at the elbow until you reach what I call the 90-90-90 position. 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, pin back at the wrist as well. So you're working into the 90-90-90 position like you're going to pour a a mug of beer over your shoulder like this. Again, that's going to be 180 degree turn of the thumb and you're flexing the arm. Now, doing that at the same time, it looks like this. Turn the arm, fold the elbow. Turn the thumb 180 degrees, fold the elbow to 90. Very, very simple. We'll look at that now with a club. Looks like this. Turn the thumb 180 degrees shoots the club ahead, fold the elbow, allows the right arm to take over, extending the arc all the way out and continuing the acceleration all the way through into the ball. So that's the easy part. There's another piece that most chicken wingers or handle pullers or arm extenders <laughs> are missing. And that's a little heave of the body out in front of the folding elbow. So. That's why this classic drill I really love so much is just swinging with the left arm only. Because all of a sudden, and I would encourage you to do it way up here at the top of the grip eventually when you get a little bit more strength and coordination, because you want the club to be very heavy. If the club is very heavy, your body will tend to conform and do what it's supposed to do a little bit more naturally. When the club is really light, it makes it easier to make these weird errors that we're making. So I'm just going to add a little step and heave. So what I'm going to do is start with my feet close together. Just take a little baby step and heave the body. Just like I'm, if I was playing horseshoes, except I'm going to stand sideways to it. Just heave and throw the horseshoe. Heave and throw. The, so it's a heave that you would normally put out in front of a horseshoe toss or even a little bit of a, a baseball toss or a rock skip. They're all going to be preceded. The arm action always gets preceded just by a little heave of the body, step and heave. So now you look, go back to the folding elbow. We put that step and heave out in front of it. 
and it's step and heave, turn and fold. So step and heave, turn the thumb 180 degrees, and let the elbow fold into a 90 degree angle like this. So step and heave, turn and fold. Now you really start getting the feel of an outstanding golf swing just by making this left hand motion. Now you can hit balls like this. I wouldn't expect you to be very good at it at first, but let's try it. Little step and heave. Okay, that, was, that wasn't bad. Little baby draw about 60, 70 yards. You might be very spastic and uncoordinated the first bunch of times you try this, but it really is an excellent exercise to teach yourself how to correctly fold that elbow up into your follow through. Again, you're gonna get tons more distance, probably cure your slice very quickly when you can get this elbow to fold like this. So remember, lots of everyday drills. Just take a nine iron, go out in the backyard, step, heave, fold. Step and heave, fold, just like that. Into the 90, 90, 90 position. I just know if this is an issue for you, that repeating this, these exercises and understanding, being aware of the movements necessary I just know you're going to make a strong improvement in your golf game and in, on the scorecard. And I hope you leave a comment and tell me about it if this is true for you. Hey, thanks for watching and supporting my channel all this time. I hope you'll hit like and subscribe if you got some value out of this. I'm Steve from HitItLonger.com. I hope you'll visit my website, check it out. And if I don't see you in the next video, I'll see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Everybody take good care. Oh,